But right now, very pleased to have with us on the program from Pajamas Media, Mr. Bob Owens. How are you, sir? Hey, how are you doing, Cam? I'm good. Thanks for coming on the program tonight. Glad to be here. And I, I got to tell you, uh, more importantly, thanks for being one of the few members of the media who actually noticed that uh, President Barack Obama made a nomination to head up the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. This has been an incredibly underreported story, and I'm so grateful that uh, you guys at Pajamas Media, and you in particular, uh, have covered this. Glad to do it. You know, this is, to, to me, Bob, this is a big story. When you have the head of the uh, uh, Chicago field office, a guy who has got a long association with uh, anti-gun groups, a guy who just a year ago uh, got caught uh, in a, 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 a local news clip, um, really, you know, confusing a semi-automatic firearm and a full auto machine gun. To me, this is newsworthy, and it's something that Americans should know about because it is, again, it's another indication of uh, who President Obama is, uh, what his agenda is, and the type of people that he wants to have in charge. It's, uh, it, that is entirely true. The entire time Obama was on the campaign trail, he sounded a completely different uh, agenda than he did that he's run that his, his entire political career. And this guy, Traver, pretty much mirrors what Obama has said all along up until the point it became a liability, which is you know, he's in favor of banning these so-called assault rifles. He's in favor of you know, handgun bans. He you know, has been involved with the Joyce Foundation uh, Violence uh, Policy Center, and it's just a train wreck of a nomination. You know, it, it 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 is, and the uh, the sad thing is, again, there there's just been so little coverage of this. Obviously, the Brady campaign is just uh, uh, head over heels in love with uh, Andrew Traver. They've come out in uh, strong support of the uh, nomination. But you know, I, I'm kind of wondering, Bob, this position has been unfilled since 2006. Why now? I mean, why would President Obama, uh, you know, put forth this name and? especially given the fact that he's such a, a by-the-book gun control advocate. There is some speculation by folks who are better educated than I uh, who suspect that the entire plot is to try to get him on on a recess appointment over the holidays. Uh-huh. All right, now, as I understand it, a recess appointment, though, is only good until the next Congress convenes, which will be in January. Is that right? Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I do not know all the ins and outs of it. Uh, I think it goes longer than that. It may be that he waits for another recess just a little further down the line, waits for this Congress to meet in January, and then takes the next recess. Okay. Uh, now, you know, we've been talking uh, on this program for the last couple of months, really longer than that, about uh, uh, President Obama's views on the Second Amendment. Obviously, we've seen the Mexican President Felipe Calderon uh, come out on several occasions and lobby for changes to our gun laws. You saw the uh, Mexican ambassador to the United States, Arturo Sanducan, come out and, and actually say, uh, uh, la I think it was last week, uh, that the NRA needs to be a, quote, co-stakeholder with the United States and Mexico in combating gun violence. There are all of these hints here that uh, President Obama is uh, going to move on gun control in some regard, uh, you know, in the in the next, uh, if not the next session of Congress, uh, likely within the next couple of years. Do you get that idea as well? I get the feeling he would certainly like to. Mm -hmm. Whether he has the political support to get anything done beyond an executive order is, or some sort of administrative fiat is is a whole nother ball ballgame. Uh, Congress, you know, the, is not going to go for it. Uh, they know that that is the third rail. You cannot touch that. Um, if if anything, popular sentiment is towards relaxing mini gun laws. Mm -hmm. So I you know I don't know what he thinks he's going to try to pull, but we've got to consider that this is a president who has the worst instincts of any politician <laughs> I've ever seen. So who knows. Yeah, there is that. Um, and, and you're right. I don't think that there is uh, any appetite in Congress to, uh, uh, you know, advance the gun control agenda. But you see that you keep seeing these stories like people like John Podesta coming out and encouraging Barack Obama to 
bypass Congress as much as possible uh, now that the uh, Democrats are not in charge and, uh, you know, uh, uh, talking about the need for a powerful unitary executive. And if Obama decides to go that route, um, you know, you there, there are a lot of things, again, that uh, the gun control advocates both here at home and in foreign nations have been clamoring for for years. Uh, wait a minute. Would this be the same Podesta that was calling for a strong unitary government four years ago? <laughs> well, that was different, Bob. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was I thinking? Yeah, I you know the the uh, the idea of the unitary executive under the uh, Bush presidency was uh, horrific to people like John Podesta. But uh, you know now that it's Obama in charge, obviously, obviously the conditions have changed and the times have changed, Bob. And you're just not a real patriot if you're not on board with this idea. Um, it must be so. <laughs> well, Bob, again, I can't thank you enough for writing about this. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I guess if it's a recess appointment, if that's the, the route that Obama tries to take. Now, he has sent this nomination to the Senate. So we'll, we'll I guess we'll right now we're waiting to see if a uh, senator puts a hold on the nomination, if hearings are scheduled. Uh, and, you know, I guess that 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 may impact the timing of whether or not uh, Barack Obama tries to make this a recess appointment. If he has sent this nomination to the Senate. It seems to me like you wouldn't want to make a recess appointment before the Senate has had an opportunity to try to schedule hearings for this guy. Yeah, you know, again, this is another situation where we're talking about where he's doing things that don't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, trying to guess what he's going to try to do, you know, other than play golf, is a losing game. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the idea, you you talked about President Obama, the worst political instincts uh, of any president you've seen. Uh, in this day and age in which support for new gun control laws at an all-time low, you've got the expansion of right to carry happening around the country. You've got the Heller and McDonald decisions uh, that met with wide approval of the American people. Nominating a guy that wants to ban an entire class of commonly owned firearms, pass uh, 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 restrictions on how often you can purchase a firearm, get rid of the T-Art Amendment, uh, uh, a ballistic imaging database. I mean, this is completely out of touch with the American people on Second Amendment issues. I think you also forgot that he wants to ban uh, very common kinds of ammunition as well. You're right, I did. The laundry list of things that he wants to do to our rights, Bob, uh, is very, very lengthy. Yes. All right, well, I, I, I appreciate uh, you reminding me of that one as well. Have a great Thanksgiving, sir, and I'd love to talk to you again very soon, but uh, thanks for the coverage and keep it up. Uh, sure will, and would love to be back. All right, Bob, have a great night, sir. You too. Take care.